Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another one. Now this is going to be a reaction video. I know I was here a little earlier with a video and I was like, motions all the place because I was pissed off. Your girl was pissed off. But anyway, this one is kind of like, what the world is going on? Like, what is going on? What is going on? First of all, how y'all make a mistake like this? How do y'all make a mistake like this? Y'all have to watch it. Out here in New York City, this one is in New York City. The other one is not. But they, they connect. Not, not to case together, but it's the same thing. So I'm going to put them both back to back. But this one, y'all, out here in New York City... They released a young man that was locked up for a murder. He's he was locked up for a murder, y'all. And then, but he also had like another case, and that case I guess had ended. Why they had a a, a, a um a error in the paperwork, and they let the man walk out. They released the guy. You see me? I gotta zoom in. They released him. So he didn't escape, none of that. He walked out. Your release, him. your error, your fault. Watch this, guys. You can't make this up. A murder suspect was accidentally released from Rikers Island. Tickets to the Alpine Club in Queens with the very latest on this. Alice. Mary, this detainee was released two days ago due to a clerical error, and now police are frantically searching for him. Let's take a picture. 26-year-old Christopher Buggs had been locked up here since 2018 on murder and weapons charges awaiting trial. He's described as about 5'5", 160 pounds. Now, this morning, the mayor confirmed he was sentenced to time served on another case, but that got mixed up with the murder case, and he was accidentally released. This is being fully investigated right now. We're going to put additional safeguards in place to make sure this never happens again. It's very frustrating. It, it was based on a court order, but it was apparently you know one case that this uh, inmate had connected to him, but there were other charges, obviously, as well, um, that should have meant uh, he remained incarcerated. So uh, we're going to get a full review of this immediately. Uh, all right guys meantime, <laughs> this is crazy this. like how uh, like are you serious so now you're let out uh, a person that that killed someone you're literally let him out he didn't escape you're let him out are you serious what is going on <laughs> what is going on of course then you're like, oh, don't approach the person. You'll see him. He could be dangerous. Whatever, whatever. Like, this is crazy. So this is the second one, guys. Y'all got to watch this. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. You can't make it up, God. Like, what is going on? Now, same thing. you are release another person. Is it the same person that's, that's, that's working on the computer, on this database, like around the, um, the states? Like, like, like what? Like how? 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 <laughs> you can't make it up, guys, I swear. Watch. As law Watch. enforcement is trying to track down a murder suspect who was released from the Century Regional Detention Center behind me this afternoon, the thing is, he wasn't supposed to be. It was a massive headache for drivers near downtown this afternoon as the 101 freeway was shut down. It was called a manhunt, prisoner on the loose as rumors swirled of an escape. But that's not what happened. At 2.12 this afternoon, 24-year-old Stephen Monzo quietly walked out of the Century Regional Detention Center. His case was dismissed in court 370 days after he was arrested for the murder of Salvador Corrales, who was shot and killed in a parking lot in 2018. The problem is... Monzo wasn't supposed to be released, so the Long Beach Police Department asked for help finding him. And L.A. County deputies saw him walking along the 101 in downtown a few minutes later, and the search began. But he wasn't found. His whereabouts All right, was guys. All right, guys. Like, you can't make this up. This was a little quick, short, little reaction. I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. 
even though this is on a real note, real life situation, y'all always um, watch your surroundings. Be careful if you if you can't if you can help it. You know, if you can help it, you know, try to be with someone, you know, if you're going somewhere, especially going somewhere you've never been before, those type of areas, at least try to see if you can um, get someone to go with you. Try not to go by yourself. If you go by, your, if you have to go by yourself, please, guys, please, you know, um, get you some type of protection. I know in a lot of states out here in New York, we don't have like the um, carry, you know, you, know, you can't. Everybody that's basically out here, if you ain't a cop or something to get your license, it's kind of a little hard, but you can't get it, but it's hard. But you ain't just walking around with a gun. If you got a gun, 9, 10 is illegal. But anyway, you ain't here for me. But anyway, but yeah, guys, um, you know, try to walk with something. You know, I know other states, y'all, a lot of y'all are able to um, get your um, your license to carry, your, your, you know, a gun or whatever. If you got it, walk with it, because you don't know. You know, but take yourself at all means necessary. You know what I'm saying? If you got to get you some pepper spray, some some knuckles, brass knuckles. Um, They got the little knife. They got all kind of things. Protect yourself, God. But anyway, with this being said, y'all guys, y'all stay safe. Like I said, watch your surroundings. Please stay alert. Stay alert, alert, alert. I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction video. Until the next one, y'all guys stay safe, stay blessed. Know your girl love you. And I'll be back at y'all with another one. Until then, just know your girl love you. That's it. That's it. Later, guys.